Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're going to talk about this article written from Cointelegraph. Donald Trump Jr. is launching a crypto platform to, quote, take on the banks. Now, here you have a billionaire son who has no problem with access to getting money from the traditional fiat banks. But now he want to take them on. As you said, the question, what is this all about? Is this their new hustle? Is this their new family hustle? Is this their new grift for them to try to get money off of innocent, suspecting cryptocurrency lovers? Why all of a sudden a rich individual, a rich family who had garnered a whole lot of wealth from traditional financial banks now want to take them on? Donald Trump Jr. has finally revealed what his cryptic DeFi post on Twitter was all about and it's got nothing to do with meme coins if you guys appreciate the video on this content make sure you hit that like button today and also subscribe I try to do a spin on some of the information that we constantly get bombarded with on a continual basis I want us to try to see if we can navigate through all this information to try to come up with some logical explanation as to why people do what they do and hopefully we'll be get we'll begin to see what junior is trying to do with creating a crypto platform like we don't have enough of them already but you know with cryptocurrency with it being decentralized anybody and everybody can come up with a cryptocurrency platform you just need to have a following and enough unsuspecting individuals willing to participate in your platform junior has announced plans to launch a new decentralized finance cryptocurrency platform to address inequality in banking access wow inequality do you really think him and his family have any idea what inequality is all about within banking i think it was easy for him and his family to get access to as much money as they wanted so what inequality is he specifically talking about like these are questions that people need to ask why people do what they do because we see the real we, we see what they are all about and now you see them trying to divert off of what they've been accustomed to and now they're trying to reinvent themselves or create something new that doesn't match up with what they've already been used to, i.e. in this situation, inequality. What inequality is he trying to explain to regular ordinary people? Especially those who don't have access to banking services. He doesn't have any problems with any financial services, but he wants to take on inequality in banking access. However, the platform is still in early stages and will take some time to become a reality. Exactly. Maybe he doesn't have enough investors to put up money so that they can go ahead and create their cryptocurrency platform. During a Q&A session on subscription based platform locals on August the 8th, Donald Trump Jr., the eldest son of presidential candidate and former president Donald Trump said he wasn't launching a meme coin, but working on a crypto platform to take on the banks. I wonder if he explained on that subscription based platform locals, why is he trying to take on the banks? Because that would be the first question I would ask. Hey, Junior, what are you trying to do with this? You don't have problems with access to banks. Are you trying to come down to middle America or ordinary individuals to try to assist them and get them a leg up? What's really behind you trying to create this cryptocurrency platform? Oh, because you know that governments and authoritative figures can't get access to your finances on a decentralized platform. Quote, what we're talking about is a larger type of platform that's very different and not a mean coin, he said. However, he added that it will be a long time before we can do anything, not giving anything away on a time frame. So right now, I just think it's just an idea. You know, they just had a couple of drinks at a restaurant and somebody popped it into his head and now they're actually trying to implement or strategize on how they can actually make this real. Because what else crypto like what why would we need another cryptocurrency platform? There's hundreds of them already around. How would his be different from anyone else's? And even with all of the scrutiny that they gotta go through with traditional financing financial banks, you don't think that they're gonna get the same thing when they create this cryptocurrency platform? What we're talking about 
is a larger type platform. He didn't provide much more detail on the platform, but emphasized that it would target the banking system. I thought his father liked the banks. Like the bank has given Donald trillion, I'm not trillions, but billions of dollars in order to fund his business ventures. But now all of a sudden you want to take them on. The one who gave you a, a helping hand to give you banking loans so that you can fund your multiple businesses that you got going on, your hotels, your casinos, your colleges. And now you want to take them on? Come on, Junior. Quote, what we want to do is take on a lot of the banking world. I think there has been a lot of inequality and that only certain people can get financing. He's talking about himself, like literally. So do you really think he's going to fight for you? When he himself is on the opposite end of this inequality. This man hasn't been treated unfairly in banking. Look at him, him and his family. But now he's trying to spin the narrative as if he's regular, as if he's for the ordinary individuals. So this notion of decentralized finance is obviously very appealing to guys like me who have been debanked. Also, when the shoes on the other foot and you begin to experience inequality, now you want to come around and act and change things up all of a sudden. Now you want to try to figure out a solution when for decades, him and his family had free reign, free access to banking services, to receive loans, to start up their business ventures. But once these banks begin to shut down their loans access to them. Oh, now it's inequality. Well, welcome to the club, Junior. Rumors around a new crypto offering began circling after Trump mentioned DeFi in August in an August 7 Twitter post, with many believing it may be related to a new meme coin launch. Already people are confused. So the longer that he draws this out of his plan to create a cryptocurrency platform, the less likely people will be incentivized or interested about it. Quote, we're about to shake up the crypto world with a with something huge. Decentralized finance is the future. Don't get left behind. I agree, though. Now, I don't know if it's going to be his particular cryptocurrency platform that everyone flocks to, but these DeFi is where it's at. His brother, Eric Trump, said something similar on Twitter on the same day. I have truly fallen in love with crypto DeFi. Stay tuned for a big announcement. Now, I think they're their interest in crypto and DeFi all of a sudden is because they're trying to milk cryptocurrency. They're trying to grift cryptocurrency. That, that's what I'm seeing it as because these two, these individuals don't have problems with banking. So I think that they see this is a new frontier. I think that they see that there's monetary value in DeFi and that they can make money from it. And rather than them being scrutinized by traditional banks, they said, look, we can go and grab the bag from DeFi and the SEC and other regulatory bodies don't have anything to say about it because they can't control it. They cannot lock up our funds. But don't think that they package it up in a way that they're trying to assist the, those who have been treated unfairly in banking services as if they're doing it for you because they're not. At the Q&A, he also addressed rumors regarding the Restore the Republic meme coin, which has surged and crashed amid false rumors of associates with the Trump family. He also talked about Eric Trump deny any connection with the meme coin, calling the rumors absolutely false in an August Twitter post, which sent the RTR token crashing over 70%. That's the problem when you connect your brand, your image to these cryptocurrencies. The moment that you say you're not connected or you're not associated with the project, you get these crashes, you get these rug pulls. So even with this cryptocurrency platform that Junior is trying to create, understand if he takes any stance and say, look, I'm not associated with this platform. Then expect that particular cryptocurrency that's associated to the platform to crash. Now, is this just a grift? Well, here's the tweet that Junior did on Twitter. 
we're about to shake up the crypto world with something huge. Avoid vaporware, Bitcoin only. I would not get left behind. Peter Schiff even responded with a tweet, don't blow the election by embracing this nonsense. Now tweet, like Peter, this man has been completely off base with cryptocurrency ever since, you know, years ago. And he's still holding firm that cryptocurrency is going to go to zero. Hey, to everyone, he has his right to think the way he thinks. Focus on the real economic issues that actually matter to the vast majority of voters and stay away from crypto. Here you have two individuals, Peter Schiff and Trump Jr. with no issues of money at all. One is trying to take on the bank and then you got Peter Schiff want them to stay with the bank and to stay away from cryptocurrency. Somebody asking the question, is it open source grants for multi-signature to development? Somebody also respond, I agree, just need to back it with something of value and that is not the fiat dollar. What do you think it's gonna be? I won't be surprised if this cryptocurrency platform, the investors who create the platform, kind of like Alameda Research, kind of like FTX, like let's talk about it. Sam Bankman Freed had a cryptocurrency platform and what happened to it? You don't think that Junior saw the same debacle happen with FTX? Somebody responded, we don't need another token. People have been spamming this tweet with Pulse Chain and Caspa and trying to partner with other cryptocurrency, Terra Luna, classic, Terra Classic. Somebody's just telling him to buy Hex. Like we could see all of the propaganda that is being created underneath his tweet. Dear God, if this is just a token or the NFT, it's a scam. Hoping for the best, but remember this tweet. Let's see what else they got on here. If this is a coin, it will be a rug. Also interesting that millions of liquidity was pulled from DJT coin yesterday and you announced this now. You are doing your father's name in election season and the crypto industry a disservice. Are you really that broke? I think this tweet is trying to show forth that mm, they trying to see it as a grift. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a grift. It's another hustle that the Trump name is trying to place their identity to just another grift because Trump did a conference, a Bitcoin conference. He spoke and he once trashed Bitcoin, saying that it was just based on thin air and that he wanted the U.S. dollar to reign supreme. But just a couple of months ago, I think just last month, he spoke at a Bitcoin conference. Now, see when they pivot. Why is he, Donald, speaking at a Bitcoin conference when just a couple of years or maybe a couple of months ago, this man was trashing Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? For a time, Trump would have made for an unlikely headliner at a cryptocurrency conference. As president, Trump declared Bitcoin not money and criticized it as highly volatile and based on thin air. This is what he said while he was sitting in office. He cautioned that crypto assets help facilitate illegal underground markets. What do you think the dollar is doing? He also stated, we have only one real currency in the United States, and it is stronger than ever. Trump wrote on Twitter in 2019. It is called the United States dollar. But this man just spoke at a Bitcoin conference last year. Now, I'm not saying that people can come and change their mentality and change their thought process. I understand you can do that. Everyone is rightfully able to do that. But then those who are on the receiving end of your change 
have the right to question. What changed? What happened? Why all of a sudden the flip? Is it because you're no longer sitting in office? Did you flip because you need votes in order to try to become president in the next couple of months? Like why all of a sudden the switch? People will begin to question. On Saturday, Trump addressed the cryptocurrency industry's largest annual gathering in Nashville, not as a cynic, but as one of the best known supporters, the culmination of a total reversal on the issue during the former president's latest White House bid. Despite cryptocurrency's troubling recent history and his own past reservations, Trump has fully embraced the hype and hopes of the nascent industry. His campaign now accepts Bitcoin donations and has collected about $4 million worth, a source with knowledge of his fundraising set. He has attacked the Biden administration efforts to regulate the industry as a war on crypto. Leave it to these people, everything's a war. They have war on their mind constantly, not peace, war. If anything goes against their thinking, it's a war. Without acknowledging the massive fraud schemes that have shattered public confidence in digital currencies. And he has vowed as president to make it easier for cryptocurrency mining companies to operate in the United States. Do you think it's going to work? That him and his family are trying to pivot now into the cryptocurrency space. Because let's not get it twisted. This is another hustle. Yeah, Trump digital trading cards, NFTs. But look at how you're able to buy these NFT cards. In dollars. Not cryptocurrency. Not in Ethereum, not in Bitcoin. And they're just like baseball cards. But you collect them digitally. Another grift. See some of the amazing mugshot edition trading cards. Leave it to these people and they'll go ahead and try to monetize even the criminal aspect of their nature. Imagine if other people created value from a mugshot because I will say the so-called black people with mugshots should be filthy rich right about now but for some reason society allows the light to be shown as a positive sense when they get mugshots that they're able to monetize off of it but when black people have mugshots is demonized is seen as evil is seen as these people can't get their act together but when they do it let's see how much money we can make from it they're calling the mugshot amazing this is your chance to buy a trump digital trading card mugshot edition make this make sense this is a hype website to try to push trump's nft cards and it's only supposedly a limited time offer not knowing that you can create unlimited amounts of nfts they're trying to push the oh you better hurry and get it time is running out there's only gonna be a limited amount to be created by 47 digital trading cards or more in a single transaction why is that why do you do they want you to buy 47 in one transaction are they trying to use the cash that is going to be created from people purchasing these nfts for another purpose now i just want you to see how they have monetized a mugshot Yeah, they monetized it. How do you know you're actually getting the suit of the mugshot?
priceless. <laughs> now check this out. Look at the bottom of the terms and conditions. NFT INT LLC is not owned, managed, or controlled by Donald J. Trump, the Trump Organization, CIC Digital LLC, or any of their respective principals or affiliates. NFT INT LLC uses Donald Trump's name, likeness, and image under a paid license. So Trump has allowed this business, NFT INT, to use his name image and likely it's like what the collegiate players are now able to do in collegiate sports they're able to now use their name image and likely to get brand deals i wonder how much they pay trump to do it which license may be terminated or revoked according to his terms trump digital trading cards are intended as collectible items for individual enjoyment only nothing more nothing less but they're selling it to you for 99 pop 99 dollars a pop but it's only for individual enjoyment they're already letting you know from out the out the rim hey don't expect to make money from this this nft cars more than likely won't have any monetary value These digital trading cards are not political and have nothing to do with any political campaign. Nope, it has to do with Trump's name, image, and likeness. And how he, I wonder how much he got paid though, for real. That, that would be very interesting to see how much he got paid for NFT, INT to use his name, image, and likeness because they're going hard. This company is using Donald Trump as much as possible. So that they can make make as much money as possible. But yeah, I don't see anything unique with only these cars. Like I get it. They want to show forth the image as if Trump is doing a excellent thing with the picture of the cars. But in reality, when you see Trump and the things he do, these cars are so far from that. But let's talk about Bitcoin real quick. So. Here's a price prediction right here for Bitcoin. I'm not going to do a price prediction, but I just wanted to tell you that it's very good to see the market bounce off that zone that we talked about. And now the market is still trading within a price prediction area. So we'll come back later and see uh, whether or not the market in Bitcoin continues to trend to the upside. But that's it. Just go ahead and give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain profitability. And as always, trade different.